Hey, I'm just going to re-record this real quick for you. Um, this time I'm not going to mute my mic at all, so you're just going to have to deal with the coughing. Just so that way I don't get fucked up on the feedback or anything. <coughs> Easy shipwreck. I don't really see a point in the... Uh, gold ingots there. Like, I guess one extra ingot. Oh, never mind. Uh, gold shovel, and then... Never mind. Thought about it. Good TNT placement. <laughs> Great crafting. Oh, that's just a free lava pool. <coughs> and linear enough gravel. This is a seed. You didn't really need to break that block there, honestly. Like, it's not changing a ton. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, this is a re-upload. Great boat clutch, by the way. Um... But just in case it got missed, enter angle here. It's just free entrance to the triple. I think I, like, worked out that this was like a 15 second time loss or something like that. Just by, like, poor recognition. You didn't need to place that block there either, you just mine the hallway. Like just mine two blocks in and then just go in. Great route once you've got to the point, though. Get... <coughs> Get this lantern chest here. It's linear enough, and your pigs may be done trading, but it's always worth to get chests and ranked. Unless you plan to get it on the way out, in which case, also fine. You don't need those four extra, which is so unnecessary. You're fine.
That damage could have been avoided. Actually. Yeah. If you just, like, continue to run through it, like, yeah, you might get hit, but I think you just dodge that. Or at least get boost from it. You have other pressing shit to do. Like, you can take out the rest of this fire, but this platform is just so unimportant in general. Take out the other fire, make your explosives, build your portal, break blocks, stuff like that. I also don't see the point in that soul sand there. Like, you know that you're blocked off everything. So it just seems kind of goofy to me. I don't know. Also, you should not be home portaling. Or, you should not be portaling right now. You still have fire res and other stuff that you could overlap. That's a good reading. <coughs> I know that you said you don't want to hear anything about the eye measuring. But 90... What is that? 99.2%? 93.2% is totally good for ranked. Because now you're now introducing this time loss. And this has been a more consistent theme than you, um, you know, missing strongholds. Perhaps a bit of survivorship bias there, but, you know. But let's also think about this in the ring. Like, 1730, negative 371, right? Like, you'll be totally fine. It's not the 1300 block offset. It's definitely just the 500. And that was just kind of evident from the beginning. <coughs> Maybe worth just, like, thinking about logically, like, do I throw another eye? In a lot of cases, because logically it just doesn't make that much sense here. Yeah, because the other offset's 2,000 blocks away. That's like second ring. You also don't need to double crit withers. 
for the intent and purpose of an axe, or really any weapon that you take into a uh, fortress, they have the same HP. Nice spike. Nice zero. <coughs> yeah, I think the two splits are obviously getting into the Bastion thing. Um, but through all of the times I've given you feedback, the most consistently weak one has been your eye measuring splits. And I'm glad to hear that the like pixel sub-adjuster thing um, you're starting to use. However, I still think that in a lot of times you're being overly cautious when just reading Ninja Brain Bot a little bit deeper would just immediately solve your <coughs> solve the problem instead of um, like measuring an eye and reintroducing like a two or three eye measurement time loss.